morning from Portland. Today's the day, officially, that I sell the bus here. Gotta do all that red tape and paperwork. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Anybody ready to buy a bus? Let's do it. <laughs> First stop, we gotta get this bad boy uh, done for emissions. Looks like you gotta pay 15 bucks. No big deal. And I think the dog slobbered on there. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a little emissions test here. We gotta floor it. We gotta wait for her signal. There you go, look at that baby. Pass or fail, what do you guys think? Comment below. I think we pass the flying, flying colors, although we did have to do it twice, it fell out of the tail thing. The thing that happens with the diesel is that the oil gets it stuck in the turbo and then it blows out the pipe, so, you know, if we fail, I'm gonna run this thing around the block and try it again. All right, pass the emissions test flying colors. Dan, the adventure bus is in great shape, thanks to Badge. Um, yeah, we're just gonna stop in this, uh, they have these bizarre things in Washington where it's not even the DMV, it's like some licensing office. So we're gonna inquire within about how to sell it. Great news, super easy. Uh, basically I just bring in a little receipt after five days, give him all the other stuff, and that's it. That's so easy, it's so easy. Great news, everything's done. He's got insurance through my same lady, and he's keeping the bus life license plate and uh, whoop, whoop. doing a, a Washington uh, registration Oregon was just a pain in the butt, so um, we got them all squared away with that. We've got a couple stickers. What's up, pups? What's up, peppers? Um, just a heads up, if anybody's thinking about doing a bus conversion, check out your local state uh, to, to register it, because some of them can be a big, huge pain in the butt, and some of them are super easy. Some of them have permanent license plates and all that kind of stuff. So look on schoolie.net and look in the forums and then call your um, licensing people because you could get yourself into a pickle. <laughs> so I'm just thankful the state of Washington was like super chill. There's This year is the last year of emissions, so they, you know, yeah, it's one of those states. So anyways, how are you feeling about this? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to move in. Oh, I'm already moved in. Yeah. I'm ready to advance. So, anyways, what do you got? You got a couple stickers got there? My stickers. Yep. Ready to make it mine. There you go. With All right. Yeah, you. let's do it. And then I'll sign the bus. <laughs> and you can sign. I was thinking about that. You have to sign. Boom. It's, it's official. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. So, today's the day. Nope, stay there, pup. Get back on. <laughs> Clearly listens well. I'm gonna go for a spin in Brian's new adventure bus. Still gotta take Dan off. And uh, gotta dump the toilet and some other stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for uh, his first spin in the bus. And uh, yeah, if he's got any questions or anything, that's what I'm here for. All right, here we go. We're taking the first spin in Dan the adventure bus. Not, not too many people have driven this thing besides me. I think only like four. Glad to be the new driver. <laughs> me too, me too. Well, there goes my bus. Well, it's not my bus anymore. anymore. There goes Brian's bus. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to follow Dan everywhere he goes, He's gonna have a name change. I don't know what the name change is gonna be of the bus. So give him a follow on, in, on Instagram. You can see where the bus ends up, what modifications he does to it. And I know I will be reunited at, uh, at some point in the future. 